Data scraping is quite complex. It comes with a lot of manual work. And if you are a marketer, or if you want to monitor your supplies from your competitors, it's quite crucial to do these activities quite fast. So you need an automation. But also coming from different backgrounds, it makes it difficult if you start using different tools, because if you don't know coding, if you don't know how to work with the AI tools, how are you gonna actually handle all complexities? So imagine if you uh, had a chat GPT that you could talk to and ask for the data you wanna scrape and that agent does the rest for you. That agent exists today. And the tool I'm talking about is uh, Browser Act. Browser Act is a new tool that actually do the data scraping without any hassle. And it's also remove all actually stress from you about the coding, about the configurations, about the old complexity that comes with uh, scraping. I'm Ali Reza and I'm gonna show you the Browser Act in this video. Let's look at the features that Browser Act uh, provide for us. So one of the most important feature of the Browser Act is the no-code, low-code development, which means you don't have to do any coding in this platform. Even I have to correct myself, there's no low-code here because it's just about uh, defining the instructions for the tool. And Browser Act is gonna actually create a process behind the scene and take care of all complexities and it just provide the information for you. We know that there are lots of complexities when it comes to the scraping. For example, you have to open the, the different websites, there are a lot of ads, there are a lot of interruptions, there are a, a lot of verifications, and Browser Act is gonna actually uh, bypass all of these things with uh, the features it has. So you don't have to be worried about any of that. Also, if you wanna check different websites from the different regions, Browser Act, is able to bypass the geo restrictions and uh, that's why you don't have to be worried about the checking different websites in different regions browser act can do it for you when you open the browser act for the first time you get to the page that uh, it gives you the canvas to uh, start creating your actually agents or workflow these are the two options you have either you can create an agent or workflow i'm going to explain each of them in a second, if you create an agent, you need to start uh, naming your agent. And then as soon as you created your agent, you have to define your instructions for the agent. This part is quite interesting because it's quite similar to other uh, agents that you can create in other uh, platforms. For example, on ChatGPT or other agentic platform that you can create agent for yourself you normally need to create the instructions and here you define instructions for your agent. You have also access to some tools on the right uh, side of the screen. You have browser control, search general, search social, search finance and search news. So you can actually add these tools to your inst uh, instructions using uh, a slash and that's how you can uh, tell the agent what, what kind of tools it can use uh, for your uh, scraping uh, project. After that, when you're done, then you can switch to the run. And then from there, your agent is up and running. And then you can start asking uh, questions from the agent. For example, in my uh, review, what I did, I just asked the agent to give me the five uh, headphones from the Amazon website. And also I asked the agent to give me the headphones that has uh, maybe the reviews uh, four or five from the reviews. And uh, that was quite uh, interesting because uh, the agent did everything it was necessary to get to this result. And with the simple instruction I gave to the agent, I got the result and I was able to see the result in a matter of minutes, which was really easier than if I would do it myself. And I can imagine for the marketers, this could this could be quite a, a, a game changer. You know, you can really easily define your automations. You just let it work for you. And then just you get uh, collect the information without bothering going to the browser and yeah, spending your time on this kind of activities. So the next one is the workflow. And workflow is quite interesting because with the workflow, you are able to define a little bit more complex situations where you want to define exactly what are the steps 
needs to be done to get your uh, information. Tried actually in my review with the Indeed.com, which was quite interesting because I was trying to see if it's possible to go to the Indeed.com, look up for a specific job, specify their location, and then also see if I can get maybe 10 of the, or maybe five of the, the, job, uh, the, the, the jobs that I was looking with the same uh, keyword. And then after that, I can actually uh, extract those information and export them. And actually it did work a quite an interesting job. And as you can see, that uh, workflow is uh, working very well. While workflow is working, you can also see the all the steps and this is the the interesting part of this uh, uh, tool that you can see the all the steps and uh, you can see what's going on in each steps you can actually trace it back and once it's done uh, you can see the all information in the output and everything is fully automated without writing any lines of code so as you can see both methods uh, work perfectly and with both methods you are able to collect information with one we actually created the instructions and we kind of like we are chatting with the chatbot and chatbot is gonna go back and do the magic, collect the information and come back. So with that one, we don't have to define the all the steps, but with the workflow, we were able to define all the steps. We can maybe define more precise instruction on each step, what's gonna happen, what kind of uh, the fields should be selected, what's gonna happen by agent next, before, and all of these things are configurable. So it's up to you in what method you're gonna use to uh, get your information. Also, operations team can uh, monitor supplies very easily using uh, automated workflows. So it makes life so much easier for these type of people and I think without knowing any knowledge of coding and having background in software engineering, they are able to create this complex process using Browser Act. The interesting thing is because of the fact that this tool is using AI behind the scene, it makes it quite reliable. And also, as you can see, you don't have to define a lot for this tool. This tool is also able to understand uh, the information on the screen and based on your instructions, it, it is able to process the information and see what is the, the most uh, necessary information should be collected from each uh, screen. So that's why Browser Act did a really good job here and makes it easier for uh, anyone to use this tool to collect information from the websites. And here is some exciting news at the end of this video, and it's about the, the new integrations is happening very soon, and that is integrating uh, Browser Act with uh, popular uh, platforms like Make, like Zapier and N8N, which is quite uh, popular for the all agentic workflows. So soon you are able also to use this platform to create your uh, scraping uh, solutions uh, with a browser act. So I think all I said, it seems that this is a quite interesting tool. I would suggest to sign up today for this tool and give it a try, especially if you are in the marketing business and uh, you don't have any backgrounds in the coding and you want to use a simple tool to do everything for you. I would suggest to sign up for a Browser Act and uh, see their benefit. Thanks for watching this video.